You've probably read on a Reddit thread somewhere that you can actually feel all your organs, but our brain just filters this out. It's true. It's our sixth sense called interoception. And in 2021, Dr. Arden Padaputian at Scripps Research won a Nobel Prize for discovering the molecular key that makes it all work, a pressure sensing protein he named piezo. We are totally unaware of it, but it drives so much. Now there's even a growing body of research to suggest psychiatric conditions from anxiety to depression may be caused in part by issues with perceiving our internal environment. Meaning, one day it might be possible to treat these conditions by restoring a person's internal sense. And every single one of us has experienced this sixth sense to a certain degree. You know how you can feel when your heart is racing or your bladder is full, or you get butterflies in your stomach when you see your crush's name pop up on your phone? For most of human history, these were just labeled as feelings. But in 1906, Nobel Prize scientist Dr. Charles Sherrington proposed something radical, the existence of interoceptors or sensors that let us feel what's happening inside our own bodies. And now Dr. Padaputian actually identified the protein giving us that sixth sense. Padaputian named it piezo from the Greek word for pressure. But what do piezo proteins actually do? Basically, everything. In your aorta, piezo senses blood pressure. In your lungs, they detect the stretch of your lungs with each breath. But the majority live in the vagus nerve, a massive cable of around 100,000 nerve fibers connecting your brain to nearly every organ. The vagus nerve is like your body's vital sign reader, constantly feeding back information to your brain about pressure, temperature, acidity, glucose levels, even microbes in your gut. Your brain uses this flood of data to make constant tiny adjustments. But what's interesting is that your brain has gotten so good at this that it even forewarns you. For example, just seeing a sick person can be enough for the brain to activate the immune system. Piso is like the all-seeing eye of Sauron, but in a positive way. And yet this isn't always a good thing. Like anything, even our brain can get our wires crossed. The brain can interpret a sense incorrectly and send out signals that actually harm instead of help. Dr. Camilla Nord, a neuroscientist at Cambridge University, has found that people with psychiatric disorders show the same unusual activity in a brain region called the mid-insula, which interprets these internal signals. Her team is now testing whether focused ultrasound targeting this region could restore proper signal interpretation and help treat mental health conditions. But overall, we still don't know enough. But if we did, it would provide such a clearer picture of our body and what we need to do to help it. Follow me for more of the Stranger Science series and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for a very special Stranger Science episode at the end of the month on Amelia Earhart.